Sometimes we are unable to keep a long object in our small pocket. The best idea is when you break down the long object into small pieces, you can now easily fill your pocket with that object. That was the cracking idea. And today's topic is cracking of heavy oil. In this, we are going to discuss about fixed bed and moved bed catalytic cracking process. Hi guys, this is Dr. GSR. Welcome to my channel. And you can watch all my previous videos regarding fuels, electrochemistry, corrosion, water technology, and many basic concepts of chemistry in my channel. The corresponding links was provided in the description. Petroleum cannot be used as a direct fuel in our internal combustion engines. Petroleum can be converted into useful products by refining process. In refining process, the complicated, complex petroleum can be simplified and separated as a different fractions based on their boiling points. So here we can separate the different fractions based on their boiling points. For example, gases molecules are separated at the top of the tower and heavy oil molecules are separated at the bottom of the tower why because they are high boiling point compounds they are they are having a longer hydrocarbon chains in between gas, gases and heavy oil there is a gasoline diesel is separated so from top to down the carbon chain length is decrease increasing carbon chain length is increasing and also boiling point ranges also increasing so now Gasoline produced from the uh, refining process is only 20 weight percentage of the total amount of the uh, total amount which is passed to the refining process. But this 20 percent is not sufficient to meet the whole requirements. So we need an alternative process. In the same refining process, we are producing crude oil also, but it is not useful. This not useful crude oil can be converted into high quality petrol, petrol or diesel by the cracking process. So what is cracking process? Decomposition or breaking of longer hydrocarbon chains into smaller hydrocarbon chains is called cracking process. We know petroleum means C6 to C10 hydrocarbons. They have a C6 to C10 hydrocarbons. And heavy oil is a C20 to C35 hydrocarbon chain is there. If you take C20 hydrocarbon chain and if you break into three parts, it may be give uh, C6 or C7 hydrocarbons. That means when you break the longer hydrocarbon chains into smaller hydrocarbon chains, they automatically converting into heavy oil to petrol or corresponding compounds. Okay, you can see here cracking means, for example, if you take a decan, it has a C10 10 hydrocarbon chain when you are applying temperature or pressure or catalytic material it will break down into pentane and pentene that means two five hydrocarbon chain molecules okay so these having if you observe the boiling points of compound C10 molecule having 174 degree centigrade boiling point when you break down into smaller part smaller chains it gives the 36 nearly 36 degree centigrade of boiling point compounds pentane and pentene that's mean we can also define the cracking process like this decomposition of higher boiling point compounds into smaller boiling point compounds is also called cracking process this cracking process can be done in two ways that is thermal cracking and catalytic cracking. Thermal cracking means in presence of high temperatures and high pressures. If you break down the uh, higher hydrocarbon chains in presence of high temperatures and high pressures, that is called thermal cracking. So we can in catalytic cracking means here also we are using temperatures, but in presence of catalyst in presence of catalyst materials, the breakdown of longer hydrocarbon chains into smaller hydrocarbon chains in presence of catalyst materials by using high temperature and less pressures. Here no not required that much pressure what we use in the thermal cracking. There is a most differentiate between the thermal cracking and catalytic cracking. Again, thermal cracking can be divided into two types, liquid phase thermal cracking and vapor phase thermal cracking. Liquid phase thermal cracking means, so directly crude oil taken into, a, uh, taken into a boiler, that boiler is heated more than 500 degrees centigrade at 
100 kg per centimeter square pressure so that liquid directly converting into vapors and uh, crack that vapors also involved in cracking that cracked products are sent to a fractionalization column and they are separated based on their boiling points that is called liquid phase thermal cracking here we are using more than 500 degree centigrade temperature and very high pressure that is very dangerous 100 kg per centimeter square pressure in vapor phase thermal cracking means here also we are using higher temperature but first we we need to convert liquid into vapors in one tank that vapors is passed into another tank that vapors when be cracked at more than 500 degree centigrade and here not 1000 not 100 10 kg per centimeter square pressure we are applying here so that means we are at least we decrease the 10 times pressure than the liquid phase thermal cracking so these two are using much pressures they are they are not operating at the uh, normal atmospheric pressure so pressurized reactions are very dangerous so these are not uh, use, not much using in the refinery so when the high high highly solid liquid content materials only used for the you know, liquid phase or vapor phase processes okay so next one is catalytic cracking catalytic cracking means so this process carried in presence of catalyst materials like zeolites alumina silica at lower temperatures and pressures of course pre temperatures nearly up to their boiling point but pressure is at atmosphere almost atmosphere pressure so these also have two types fixed bed catalytic cracking and moved bed catalytic cracking i will going to explain these two process separately so first one is what is catalytic cracking the decomposition of higher hydrocarbons into smaller ones in presence of catalyst materials is called catalytic cracking generally used catalysts are alumina l2o3 and aluminum silicates so they have a many advantages over the thermal cracking why because in thermal cracking we need to use more pressures but catalytic cracking has a done at atmospheric pressure and gasoline production also very high that is 70 percentage that means if you pass 100 liters of heavy oil into the uh, system finally you may get 70 liters that means 70 percentage of yield is there so petrol gotten from this process having a octane number in next session i will explain what is octane number if octane number is high the quality of petrol also is high the process catalytic cracking process up will produce the high octane number that means high quality petrol so first one is fixed bed catalytic cracking the name itself telling here catalyst materials are fixed at one place that's why it is called fixed bed catalytic cracking very simple process so if you observe the diagram here so first heavy oil is passed into a heater room so in this heater room the temperature almost applied at 400 degree centigrade at 400 degree centigrade all heavy oil converting into vapors in this tank all heavy oils are converting into vapors that vapors are sent to a room that room contains the catalyst material that too catalyst materials are fixed at a some plates so there is a plates is there on that plates catalyst materials are fixed at some places so now these vapors are absorbed over the catalyst materials first they absorbed over the catalyst materials and now the longer hydrocarbon chains are cracked so longer hydrocarbon chains are cracked and they become smaller ones now this cracked fractions will be sent to a fractional distillation column so in fractional distillation column based on their boiling point different fractions are separated at different places our aim is collecting petrol so our gasoline that gasoline is separately taking into a cooler room now vapors are cooled down and they are sent to a stabilizer room now the if any dissolved gas is there they are separated and gasoline is finally obtained this is the process only thing is the catalyst room so here catalyst room catalyst particles are fixed at some places and the room is maintained at 450 degree centigrade so at high temperature 450 degree centigrade in presence of catalyst material catalyst molecules so these heavy oil vapors are absorbed and cracked so next is fractional distillation we already discussed in the previous session you can go and watch the fractional uh, refining process 
So what is the basic principles applied in the fractional distillation column? So like that we can separate the um, We can obtain the catalytic cracking process in a fixed bed manner. So here after, after a few minutes you can see here also in So these are the AV oil vapors. AV oil vapors are first here very fastly they are moving but first they are absorbed here and they are cracked and they are passed to the fractional distillation column and they are separated based on their boiling points so our petrol is taken into cooler and stabilizer and finally we'll get a so products okay so on that process what is the what is the disadvantage of fixed bed process okay so uh, after some time Continuously catalyst particles are cracking the or break down the higher hydrocarbon chains, right? So during this process, so some of the carbon is Precipitated or covered the active catalyst surface. Okay, so when the cracking is taking place So some of the carbon particles are covered the active catalyst surface that means catalyst is deactivated if you want to activate the catalyst molecule Again, you have to stop the process and you need to pass press air carbon press air. So now carbon present in the catalyst material interact with the oxygen present oxygen what we passed and carbon plus oxygen interact each other and produce a carbon dioxide that carbon dioxide can be removed from the catalyst room. Now catalyst is ready to again involved in the cracking process. Okay. So the problem is we need to stop the process. We need to stop the process to activate the catalyst. Okay. So that problem can be overcome by moved or fluid bed catalytic cracking. So here also you can see moved or fluidized bed. That means the catalyst particles are not fixed at a place. They can have move moving nature that just like they are like behave like a fluids. Fluids mean movable things. They behave like a fluids when a solid molecule when solid molecule get a fluid nature when you decrease the size when you decrease the size of particle it can easily move by these very small external forces just like a small air. Okay, so here the thing is the catalyst metal is finely powdered and that finely powdered catalyst metals are heat added to AV oil vapors. See your diagram here AV oil is heated in a heater room just like a fixed bed catalytic process. The same same thing here. So we are converting AV oils into vapors. Okay. Now this AV oil vapors here we need to add the Catalyst particles finely powdered hot catalyst particles. We mix it here, here itself only now Catalyst particles and AV oil vapors both are moved to the this tank This tank is called cat cracking tank. It is maintained at the 500 degrees centigrade. Okay, so now at cracking tank so just like uh, fixed bed catalytic cracking they are absorbed on the catalyst particles and they are cracked that cracker molecules are separated by the fractional distillation column and our petrol or gasoline is separated by the cooler that cooler they are cooled down and they are stabilizer and finally we get a gasoline this is the same process just like fixed bed but the thing is here also after some time this is the our catalyst particle so this is the our catalyst particle if it is involved in the cracking process after some time it is also involved it is also covered by the carbon why because it is also involved in cracking that's why the ca carbon layers is oh, uh, absorbed on the active catalyst now because of size increasing they are slowly come down they are slowly come down and they are collected at the bottom at the air uh, bottom side now by using air blast now we are using air blast this deactivated catalyst particles are sent to the another room this is called activating room this is room is maintained at 600 degrees centigrade so now what is there in the active room so there is a deactivated catalyst deactivated catalyst so and also we up we pass the air by using air blast so here we are passing air from the air blast so now this black color carbon will be removed why because here we are applying 600 degree centigrade carbon is there 
and also we are passing air also air means oxygen is also there so now carbon plus oxygen removed as a waste gases by the cyclones now again the red particles that means catalyst particles are come down and they are mixed with the heavy oil so like that this process continuously happening they first they went to the cracking room then they deactivated come down and they are moved to the regeneration room after regeneration they again come down and they mix like this is eight shape so they are continuously running over the two between the two tankers one is the cracking tank another one is a regeneration tank so that's why catalyst is moving here that's why this process is called moving bed or fluidized bed you can see here so again i'm i'm just showing the path of uh, that one so the first they are moved to the catalyst uh, cracking room after after deactivation because of higher size because of gravitational force they come down when we are using air blast they are sent to the another room here regeneration takes place waste gases go this side and activated catalyst come down and mix it with the heavy oil this process continuously happening no need to stop the no need to stop the process to regenerate the catalyst here blue one is a catalyst particle and the green one is a, a cracking process so heavy oil vapor see here blue blue one is came down because of deactivation it's sent to the regeneration room again here activation takes place and activated catalyst again mixed with the heavy oil like that heavy oil like that catalyst particle is running between the two lay two tanks that's why it is called mood bed catalytic cracking